Hi everyone, welcome to Greg's Workshop again. Um, I'm glad to, uh, I'm going to make a short video tonight. You won't be able to see me, because I'm not too well. <coughs> I've been struggling with this for a while. I'm going to start cutting some steel. This is to uh, make these new um, cooling trays that I'm putting on the side of the angle right on the grinder stands that I make. I've had an order for three, <coughs> so I'm going to make three. I'm going to make one for one on the video, but I'm going to cut up three. No, the last two are here, and I'm not going to cut the rest up. I've got three on the bench marked out. And I've got another two marked out here. Alright, turn on me cool. Here she comes. There she goes. Doesn't have to be that much glue. You could turn on that much cool. <laughs> I've been a little bit under the lever, I said I'd, I tried to get myself um, healthy, but the heat out in this shed in my workshop is unbearable. Last week it's been nothing under 40 degrees, except for today, which is 20, 26, and that's got no fans, no nothing. No doors open, it's all shut. I've lost three subscribers. I said, I don't know why. I said, I don't um, pretend to be a, a, a million dollar movie maker, but I'm trying my best. I said, I am doing another job out the back where I've done a whole day to cut eight slots in the concrete. A two foot, three foot long slot, inch apart in the concrete. All day to do that, my grinder had to, had to stop and let my grinder cool down. This little thing works perfect. I don't have a problem with it, eh? My household has been in a fair bit of disarray since that little pup, our dog died. I had to contend with my young son, which was his dog, and he's had him ever since he was a little fucking, but since he was a baby, he was over, over 14 years old. Well, he's 18 now. He would have been about four when we got him. I just gotta bring this out a little bit. Yep, there we go. Push hard, wind up tight. There we go. Cool. Keep this coolant running. I keep it running. See, it takes a bit to push it up when you first. I should have it running like this all the time, I suppose. And then you just press the button, and away she goes. Have a, I'm still waiting for an auto electrician to come. You reckon I can get them to come? Huh? Cash money, cash in hand, mate. Around your money talks, bullshit walks. I just went to a like an auction and um, auction today. It was a flea market auction. 
I've been looking for some type of drill bits up to two inches round. Good boy. Um, more, no, we've got the more some tape of two cheeks. Two feet the best on the end of the drill. I'll get a drill like this and cut. I've been trying to get drills like these ones with the Morrison Taper 2. Even Morrison Taper 1 because I've got a sleeve that goes back to a 1. Up to an inch and a half to two inches round. The bloke at the auction had a box. I haven't picked it up yet. I'm going to pick them up tomorrow. Uh, by about two foot long, by about ten inches wide, by six inches high, full of your width. There she goes, you turn off and stop. That's the uh, back. <coughs> I'm sorry about the other two. The subscribers leaving. Okay. Yeah. I said I don't know why they left. It's quite clear on me on my last video that I will be in the habit of getting, not being here for a couple of days at a time. I'm never out of it longer than a week. I can't, I don't edit these movies, so when I cut this one whole back and front and sides out, I'm going to push the pencil out down the road and bring the welder in, and I'm going to weld one together, complete, and that's what we'll show on my video, from cutting to welding it together, and even drilling the holes. Ones I've got have that the hole's already done. But I will drill the holes on that one. I changed my gloves. These are awesome gloves. I've been wearing them for about a week now. Getting them pretty well buggered up, scuffed up. I have got no interest in buying presses or anything. I said it was think it was just a waste of time. I'm um, even advertising that I was making them. Telling everybody, showing everybody I think it's just a waste of time. I don't like wasting my time. It costs me money. I'm not being Patreon or donate donations or anything. I'm getting nothing at the moment. I 
have a, I bought a mask and now I got it from the factory where a 3M factory over in China. I won't get it for three months. Three months. So I'm back to breathing paint fumes and dust fumes until I get it. Or I just don't do nothing until it comes. and tells you what's going on. Oh, that's what I should have done. These, these, these are only, the back is only, the back of these is, um, let's see. Five and a half inch, not quite five and a half inches high. It's four inches wide. That's the back. The sides are, um, the sides are four inches when it goes together. It's four inches square, except for the back of five inches high. That gives me a bit longer back. That's all you need to dip in your chin and cool them down when you get on to the cutter or the grinder up there. Belt sander. Come on. Yeah, so when they go together, you well you on the corners. You want the corner you have that. I've got to get me magnets out. I can't go too long on this video. Otherwise the plane jumps from one car to another. So when I cut this one, I'm going to end this video, so it's a short video. Everybody can see it. Everyone can look at my ugly mug if they want. Um, and then once I've seen this, I'll get it all ready. And I'll, I'll continue on the next to the next video. I'm having all this cut out. I've got the bottom to go and the front. That's good. Four bottoms, four at the bottom and the back. This is what everyone, these bandsaws work really good. You gotta keep your eye on the squareness of it. Mine's a little bit out, but not that much. It still cuts the white line. It still cuts the chalk line when you put the chalk line on it. Right on the line. It does a good little job. And you don't have to bend over. Oh, I do not have to bend over. That's the bonus. Oops. Here we go. Right on the line. 
and I think I'll just use it like that. It doesn't take much to turn it off. We'll turn it back on. This will be the front, the last one I'm going to cut, and then I'm going to end the video. Um, I will shift everything out, and then I'll redo another one. I'll do the second, do the putting twelve one together. And that'll be the second bed to go. I'll take you over and drill the hole. Drill the two holes in there. You've got a punch marks up here. One punch mark. And one there. A little bit of time. You can see. Three blades with this one yet, so far, and none of them are losing their sharpness, they're still sharp as, sharp as hell. The wells where they're joined, they break very easily. She tucks it out, doesn't he? Well, this is the last piece. Alright, that's number four. I'll turn that off. I'll take you for a walk over to the drill press and then we'll go and see what we can see. I'm going to put this on. Uh, I might set this up over. Where can I set you up? Uh, I don't think I'm going to set it up there. I might lose it over there. Wheel. I don't know whether that's going to do that or not. I just have to keep my eye on it. Hey, I have to keep my bloody eye on it. That's a nine hundred dollar phone. That's nineteen hundred dollar phone, shouldn't it? Sorry. Well, I was going to make movies. So I said we might as well keep have a good phone. Well, I'm going to drill these two holes. And I'll be back with you in a minute. going to grind the back off a bit so from there I'll twist this back around lift it up and just see what I'm going to do here there won't be a, I will not use one hand to do this all right I'll twist it around a bit looking at you or not but there's the holes 
Now I'm gonna shine the camera at the table. <coughs> right. I've got four sets here. There we go. Four sets. <coughs> I'm gonna weld one together on the next video. And I will see you then. Bye. If you like the videos, um, subscribe. Subscribe, give me all the thumbs up you want. Just um, take it. Um, uh, uh, if you want to, uh, subscribe, leave follow my email address and do, do the other stuff give me likes so share with your friends for this I lost three subscribers uh, I worked hard to get that extra through Dag Dag Daddy Garage done a wonderful thing for me I'm losing subscribers for they don't tell you why they're leaving <laughs> I haven't left anyone I got 70 67 people I subscribe to half of them haven't even looked at my site quarter of them haven't even looked at my site go daddy and uh, there's a new bloke over and I think it's he's come from you know, Iceland or somewhere I don't know I can't read that language sometimes there's a heap of people like DD Speed Shop. I subscribed to him. He subscribed to my channel. I'm glad he did. <laughs> He's not a bad bloke. You watch him. Pretty quick on the mark of doing things. So, well, I've got to try and work out why. If you if you watch it again and you unsubscribe, please re reinscribe and just um, bear with me. I, I will do my best. At the moment, I'm out. I probably won't make a video. I'll make two of these two. And another one next week. Well, the week after, introducing some hats and stickers to my trophy, to my box. I've started my hat collection. Go Daddy, I've got two hats coming off. Of, I'm going to get off Go Daddy. Um... I've got some SB Seeker. I'm going to get the hat off them and the Bill's Rat mouse off him because I'm a Bill's Rat. <laughs> and oh, I'm trying to get a hat off everybody or a flag, a hat, and stickers. If you want to donate to my uh, subscriber wall, you can by sending me a flag from your country or where you come from or a hat or a, some stickers to go up on my wall. Uh, I'm going to see what I can get made up in the next couple of weeks. These will be a sample. I'm going to send some samples, one sample to go to Daddy Garage to see what he reckons. That'll be his sample. And I might send some, whoever I subscribe to, if I had the money, I would send them a, a, a whole a hat and a shirt and a hat and a, a shirt or, a, or some stickers, if I had the money. If I had to do that, it cost me probably $20,000. I can't afford that. I can't even afford to buy the stuff from my car yet which I'm trying to get parts from the car, parts for the paint room, parts for the back room to finish off of it, gyp rock, um, installation. I've got to build a, a fair a, a powder coat and cook oven, which is only 24 inches wide and two meters long and um, two meters high. So it sits off the floor 
It's got a heat heat proof mat and that thick heat proof and all the way through it. And it's got the gas burner in it. And the temperature gauge, that's it. Uh, I'm going to be trying to do this. And I'm only one man. And my money is my money. The way I earn the way I get it. I said I spend it on what I got. I said I was hoping to sell a few things like these stands and that that I make. If anyone is a newcomers, I'd make these bead rolling stands for you. If you want to, that's it in Australia. These ones are all welded together. They're welded. If they made for overseas, I, don't, I can't send them overseas. I haven't got the money or the time. I wish I could. But I could make them for anyone here in Australia, uh, in Tasmania, New Zealand. I said, I might, if I, if I, a few select ones will get them, if I can't afford it. It can't be sending orders all over the countryside. Yes, well, I'm trying to do that. This thing works awesome. I'm proud of that. I don't know where the go daddy seen it. But, um, yeah, the finished item showing me working. He should be pretty wrapped in that. This took me months. He was, and he was glad to see it. He was, couldn't wait to see it feel done. You all right, everyone? I'm going to turn the video off and I'm going to start, um, I'm going to start um, cleaning up. And I'm going to get um, the welder in the line set up for the second video. I'm going to have a drink a break. And then I'm going to have a um, run this welder for a while. And I hope he gives me the thumbs up. I hope he can see me. Got to hold the camera. Right. Now, give me the thumbs up. Share with your friends. Um, uh, like. Press the bell for notifications. You'll get all that sort of stuff. Uh, in the description below will be my email address and my PayPal email the, PayPal, you just follow the prompts to me, PayPal. I, I'm, I haven't got Patreon. I said, that makes it unfair for the rest of them who can't afford to give me any money or anyone that can't afford to give me money or send me things that they miss out on that sort of stuff. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let everybody see what they see. Anyone who likes or subscribes, I would like to see if any of my subscribers would send me uh, some stickers of their business or the, their companies so I can put them on the advertisement wall here, me, me bands or I'm going to, I got some stickers from, I got some stickers coming from Skid Factory and some from uh, uh, Mighty Car Mods. I've going to order a hat from both of them if they got hats. I know Mighty Car Mods have sell a hat, but I don't know about the Skid Factory. <laughs> okay then, I'm gonna love you and leave you, and I'll catch you on the next one.